Okay, welcome back to another episode of Radio Reviews. Finally, after seven months, I got around to reviewing weather radios. So, on this episode of Radio Reviews, we will be reviewing the Midland ER-50. Let me just check to make sure it's an ER-50 that I didn't grab the 40. Yes, we are reviewing a Midland ER-50 today. This is the uh, first episode of Radio Reviews in 2024. There won't be much radio reviews this year just because I already got uh, most of my weather radios reviewed last year, but haven't reviewed the ER-50, so let's go ahead and enroll the intro. Well, let's do that again. Okay, let's go over to the light. So we start out with the radio overview, so... Here's the front of the radio. You have your time and your rechargeable battery indicator. It tells you how much, how your battery is charged. You got your weather band button, volume down, volume up, tuning buttons, tune down, tune up, and your WX a menu button. Press it once, you get WX flashing. Press it again to turn off WX flat, turn off WX, and you hold it to get into your menu. In the menu, you have your option between a 12 hour or 24 hour time. I usually have mine on 12, but sometimes I do 24. Press the menu button again, you have this. You can set, set your time. 13, 7. You have your back backlight. You can have it either on f on five, which means normal. You can have on, which is you know the drill on, or you can have it off, which again just turns your ER fifty into a giant ER ten. I like having my backlight on five. You can set your channel. You set your weather channel for frequency or channel. Frequency is the way to go, and that's what you have for your menu. At the top, you have a solar panel. You have your antenna. Flashlight. To turn on your flashlight. Here's flashlight. On the back, you have your information about the radio and your hand crank. Here's your battery, where the battery goes. There's a um, rechargeable battery. Yeah, there's a rechargeable battery. Here's the bottom of the radio. Just nothing. Just two feet for the radio to stand on. Right here underneath this flap. There's a flap there. You have your headphone port. Which, who the fuck uses wired headphones in 2024? Come on now. We got Bluetooth. Get with the times. We have a USB port, which everything is USB-C. I mean, I mean, look, my iPhone 15 takes USB-C. Come on. My iPhone 15 takes USB-C. USB-C. Whatever. And right there is a mi mini, U that's a mini, that's a micro USB. Okay, yeah, mini USB is like, what the FRX3 takes. The, that's just micro USB. So, that's the overview of the radio. We're going into the next feature, and that will be the flashlight. Ding. <laughs> Seriously, I still gotta create an intro for this series. <laughs> this is low brightness. That's high brightness. And that is SOS. This radio can be used for survival. So if you're ever stranded, you can just... We're going to do an accurate representation of this. Turn that light off. Turn this light off, too. The only thing that's going to be visible are the 120s. Oh, no! The power went out! What are we going to do? Well, ah, oh my God. Oh my God, that was scary.
scary. Oh my god. Oh my god, that would Dude, that was actually creepy. What the hell? Okay, let's retry that. Oh no, the power went out, but surprisingly that light's still on. But thankfully I am holding a ER50 in my hand, so Great, we got we can actually see where we're going. Even though I have an iPhone 15 in my hands. Well, I could just use a flashlight on that. I have Siri do all the work for me, though. Put underneath the ceiling fan. It kind of looks like you have some light in here. This was done in the... This was done back in season 12 on someone who we don't talk about. It kind of looks like you have... It looks like you have a daylight light on, you know? But I still can't believe we dropped that. It's flickering. Now we're gonna do another thing. How about my phone and I can't get off? But my phone has no service. Well, I'm going to have to turn this radio. Well, thankfully, this radio has SOS. Come save me. I'm on the ground dying and I haven't got laid yet. It flashes in an SOS pattern. Oh no, canceling the SOS. I don't need SOS now because this was all just an accurate representation of how this could actually be used for survival. Do y'all like my drama acting skills? Comment down below if you like. I don't want to blind myself. Mine's all itchy. Okay, well, that was the flashlight. We're going to talk about the uh, next feature and that will be the hand crank. First, let me shut that off. I said, I am not dying. The only time I die is if I don't listen to Melanie Martinez. I have to do it again. Help! I haven't listened to Melanie Martinez. I'm in the dark. But I have an ER-50. Help! I'm dying. Haven't listened to it. Please, someone play Melanie Martinez or else I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. We will now talk about the hand crank on the Midland ER50. The hand crank is a pretty useful feature on Midland, Midland's E-Ready radios, the ER40, ER50, ER200, ER300, ER210, and ER310 all have a hand crank as part of the Midland E-Ready lineup of emergency hand crank radios. You might be wondering, what am I going to grab this cup for? Well, I'm going to grab a cup so I can show y'all the hand crank. Okay, do that. Okay, so to operate your hand crank, you would open it up like this. Kind of looks like a little door. And you would crank it like that. I believe, I know with Eton radios, if you crank it for... One minute, you have four ra four minutes of radio time. So you can crank this for a couple minutes and you can recharge the battery in this radio. So that is the hand crank. Pretty useful feature, especially like in emergencies where you might need, you might need to charge this radio and you have no power to charge it because your, your bitch ass was too broke to afford a generator. Not dissing y'all, but... We're going to talk about the next feature, and that will be the solar panel. We fell in love in October. What the... F so, this is kind of like a useless feature right now, because we are, it is literally dark like my depressed ass. <laughs> But yeah, I think you could charge it like this. Hold up. Let me put this light on. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, the fall was so bad that it like broke one of the light that I broke the light bulb. Okay, so this will it, this is not charging it. Damn it. 
Well, thankfully, I'm wearing sunglasses because that light bulb is bright as fuck. But yes, the solar panel can be great if you say like you are preparing for severe weather and your radio only has like two bars. You can put this in a window and you can get the battery all juiced up and it'll be ready when severe weather hits. Usually the solar panel is a useless feature and normally you would have a micro USB laying around so you can charge the radio and you can get the battery charged faster. But hey, the sun, the solar panel is a great feature to have. Plus it looks aesthetics too. We will talk about the next feature and that will be the AM FM capabilities. So to get this radio to AM FM, you will hold down the power button. Partly. It was partly cloudy. Here is AM. We'll return this to 1340 AM, KROC AM. Home of Jim Roll. We're getting the ticket. I don't know where that is from. Thirteen forty. KROC AM. See if we can get WHO. Who? Let's see if we can get who. Yes, we can get who AM. Now let's see if we can get FM. I'm going to turn that down because I don't want to get copyright. But yes, this radio has AM, FM. Not that you would be using this radio for AM, FM, but it's a cool feature to have. Now we will discuss the reception, and we're going to have to go out in this busty hot weather but we're gonna make this next clip very quick so and we will be at my dxing area in a snip of oh i almost fell maybe that's why we don't have teleportation yet can i charge the Radio's my flash. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make this really quick. Ooh, shadow. What's the blue bang? It is getting WXK41 pretty clear. What do you expect from my main channel? It's getting KJY80. Oh. Oh, South Dakota. We are getting KEC 65 crystal clear. Ooh. KJY 63 at Forest City, Iowa. Let's go. We have just picked up all seven weather radio stations on radio reviews too wow i think that's the first i don't know 
using the using the driveway to push down the antenna. All right, well now let's discuss the final thoughts. I'm going to throw you all in that grass. It is great to come into a nice cold house. Who likes cold? All right, here's a question for y'all. Cold weather or hot weather? If you had to live in one, what are you choosing? I'm choosing cold weather. The only downside is that my throat gets scratchy in cold weather. So warm weather would be nice, but not hot weather. Like, I could live in like 50, 55 degree weather, and I will be happier than ever. When I'm away from you, I'm happier than ever. All right, let's discuss the final thoughts on the radio. Midland DR50, it's a pretty great weather radio, especially if you're looking for that compact, portable weather radio to take with you on a camping trip. But now they have the Midland ER-40, which you can get at pretty much any hunting store or whatever. Sporting goods, I guess. I don't know what they call it, but any store that sells weather radios, like Bass Pro Shops, like... The ER-40 is kind of more for you if you're looking for that go-to radio that you don't feel like going online to purchase. Because you can no longer get the ER-50, I believe. You have to go on eBay to get them. This radio was extremely popular back in 2021 when I first got this radio. It was extremely popular. But now we have the Midland ER-40 and that is... It's pretty popular now. I know a lot of emer weather radio enthusiasts, emergency alert enthusiasts, who have the Midland ER-40, and they also have this to their collection. Well, thank you all for watching this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of Radio Reviews, which will be coming out soon. Because I have one more thing I'm going to review this year, but I can't tell you yet. Peace the fuck out.